voice from the master, right? <laughs> She's like, no, come here. <laughs> you are you. Anyway, first, uh, thank you very much. You want to be here? opportunity to be in front of you, humble, to share the knowledge and experience. Uh, let me put switch my perspective with sustenance, what we're doing, right? Sustenance is all about sustaining life, right? And if you look at the whole universe, at a bigger picture, there are three processes going on. Creation, sustenance, and destruction, right? Creation part is over, we're all here about, we don't know when the destruction part is going to happen. In the middle, right in the middle is all about sustainment. And this is very important today, we're talking about this because to sustain a healthy, happy, peaceful life, we need practices. And I think this festival is all about finding those simple, day-to-day, -day practical tips and techniques and practices to sustain the life in a very optimal way and equilibrium. If the whole universe has to function in equilibrium, there are certain processes that run, that keep functioning it in a state of equilibrium. And we being a microcosm of that universe, we need to find ways to maintain that equilibrium. Mother Nature needs to find a way to maintain that equilibrium. And Sukshma is a way to find that equilibrium, to sustain the life at an optimal level. And now to go a little bit deeper into what Sukshma is, the body that we all see here is gross body. That we can touch and feel in the mind which we relate to the thought level. But behind this, there is something called subtle body, which is like the power generating machine, which sustains this universe, which sustains us. The moment we leave this world, body remains, and there is that something that leaves. That is what we are trying to get in touch with through this Sukshma. Get into that subtle state of our body and mind, which is the source of this body and mind, which is the source of, in fact, the entire creation. And that's not going to deeper into that, but by doing Sukshma Yoga with an ancient pure master like Sunita, you will be able to get in touch with that underlying current, that intelligence, which is sustaining an insect, which sustains the dinosaur, and which is sustaining the human being. So that is Sukshma. Focusing on 
the small, the subtle, the inner subtle, the small inner being, and pay more attention to that. What that does is by focusing on smaller and smaller pieces of my body and my mind, and, and the connection between the two, I have heightened awareness now. Things that would, would, would bug me about life just don't bug me anymore. That's, that's outside of it. I'm getting more in touch with my inner self by focusing on the, uh, the smaller and smaller parts of what's in my mind, what I'm experiencing in my body. So, sushma, the subtle, paying attention to the subtle being inside of all of us, that allows us to, allows union to happen between mind and body, but find greater awareness, greater inner peace. Sushma for me is, is getting in contact with that place inside my heart to balance with my mind. And sometimes I get a lot of that mind chatter coming at me. And through Shukshma, I can get that to happen. And then over time, the subtleness of that always happening, connecting, I'm able to create more and attract more of what I want for myself and not let the outside things bother me. Because I'm making this connection from here to here, mind to heart. And it, it, it creates, it, 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 it gets right into the center, into my core. And when it gets into the core, I feel a lot more balanced. So that's what Shuchma is for me. And I am so happy that I have Shuchma today because of it, because it's created so much more balance for me in my life and all.